Hi, I'm Craig, and welcome back to another on the road video brought to you by ApplianceVideo.com. Today, we'll be showing you how to remove and replace the drive belt on this Frigidaire top load washing machine. Now, let's begin your repair. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for the proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the water. To access the components underneath, you must first tip the unit back. I recommend making sure it is lined up side to side so that when it tips back, it is evenly distributed against the wall. Tip it back and let it lean against the wall. Now that we have the unit properly tilted back, we have clear access to our drive belt. Now the main reason why you'd be replacing your drive belt is if it's broken. There could be some situations where maybe the belt is stretched and it's causing it to not go into spin or agitate, something like that. Um, you may just want to do it just for preventative maintenance. Now to remove your belt, there are two Phillips screws located inside the housing that will have to be removed. There's one more on the other side. Drop down your guard, set it aside. Next, start to slide down on your belt while turning. So drop it off the pulley and set it aside. When installing your new belt, sometimes it can be rather tricky. What I recommend doing is starting with the top. So get your top portion of the pulley on. Make sure the belt lines up inside the ribs that are provided. Grab onto the bottom pulley while keeping this on and start to turn together. You will feel it getting tighter. You may have to grab the whole pulley, start to turn it. It's easy to slip off, so just don't give up yet. Okay, so we have it for the most part on. To get it lined up with the ribs, start to push pressure while turning. Eventually, it will fall into place. Oh, just a little bit higher. There we go. Now, the bottom portion of the belt is meeting the bottom portion of the pulley. Top portion of the belt is meeting the top portion of this pulley motor system. So this is properly installed. You can check to see if it's gonna line up underneath. If all that checks okay, next, we'll go ahead and reinstall the guard. When reinstalling your guard, there are pins that are on the transmission assembly that go into these holes as well as these pins on the guard go into corresponding holes on the unit. So this will ensure that you are nice and set up. Start to put one of your screws in. Get it to stay. Tighten it with your drill. Next, we will reinstall the second bolt. And this will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.